Hey guys, let's take a look at the Jordan CP32. The colorway on this shoe is white, metallic, silver, university blue, and taxi. You guys know university blue is that Carolina blue. Um, and the taxi color is this yellow. There's just, it's yellow like a taxi, obviously. There's just a couple touches of it. There's uh, in the logos and in the stitching here around the ankle. Um, you guys know this is one of Chris Paul's signature shoes. Chris Paul plays on the New Orleans Hornets. He's an MVP candidate every year, and he's always one of the league leaders in assists and steals, and regarded as one of the quickest players in the NBA. Great crossover, great first step. Um, so let's take a look at uh, some of the features of this shoe. Um, it's got the stitching here on the sides. It's white on white on this particular model, so you, uh, it's not that noticeable. It's pretty low key. But that does uh, look somewhat like the Jordan 23 that has the stitching on the side. Um, it also has this uh, arch in the midsole and the general shape of the shoe. It kind of reminds me a lot of the Mellow M5 because of that. This particular CP32 features a uh, patent toe area, which is nice. It really shines, doesn't scuff easily, and if you like patent, um, that's, a, that's a great feature to look for. Um, it has a couple CP3 logos. There's one here on the tongue one here on the bottom and then there's one on the sole as well and it has a couple Jumpman logos on it too. There's one here at the base of the tongue and one here in the back. Uh, shoe also features laser etching on the back. It's white on white on this shoe so you might not be able to see it here on the video but look for it in the pictures and uh, it's a really nice touch. It's pretty low key and definitely adds to uh, the aesthetic appeal of this shoe. As far as the performance of it, it's a great shoe for balling in. I play ball about four or five times a week. I've been playing in this shoe and it, it hasn't let me down. It's really lightweight. It has great stability throughout the foot. Thanks in part to the Hirachi style booty liner that it has. You pull it on right here with the tab and it just conforms to your foot. It has great padding in here throughout the ankle. So you know it'll protect your ankle and also feel comfortable at the same time. And finally, one of the most important things on the shoe is the traction. The forefoot traction that it has up here is great. I've actually never seen any other shoe like it in terms of the forefoot traction. It honestly sticks to the hardwood like Velcro. You can really make any cut you want. You can move laterally, forward and back, spin, cross people over, get just a great uh, first step when you dig in. So um, that's one of the best features I think on this shoe is, is the traction. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the Jordan CP3 too. If you guys have any questions, please just let us know. And remember to stay laced up.